And we have a lot of different car preferences across our area, but the electric car lovers will certainly have a difficult decision when going for a new ride. Yes, for today's On Our Mind, we're asking, which is the better vehicle for going electric? Total electric or hybrid electric? Mm. Now, Conrad, we live in a very particular place up yes. here in the Northwoods. Mm -hmm. Things are not exactly close, but no, so it takes it takes some driving. Mm -hmm. So uh, the the issue or you know the thought process around mm -hmm. electric, if you're going to go, I, I had you know I had a hybrid you know a while ago. I remember, yeah, and, it was a beast, yeah. Exactly, it made it everywhere. Thank Ooh. goodness, you know. You, How many miles did you have on it? Oof, I was probably up to close to two hundred thousand. Wow, any issues or no? Yes. Oh, you did. <laughs> yes. Okay, with the battery yeah. or what? No, total engine failure. Oh no, total engine failure. Oh, yeah. So that was that was the end of it. <laughs> so you know, a bit of a bit of a bad taste to finish off the mm -hmm. the hybrid vehicle. Yep. But it did make it to places it definitely shouldn't have. I know. You like told you know, me about it, yeah. a lot of winter ski trips up north. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I would say to that, I would say hybrid over mm -hmm. an all electric vehicle, just because not only that we live in the Northwoods and you know the batteries drain quicker, a lot quicker in cold temperatures. You know, especially if it's like 20 mm -hmm. below zero. But just in general, though, I mean, where are you going to charge it if you're in the Northwoods? You know, and if you're going somewhere up north in the UP and then I don't know where your battery drains. Even if it's parked, the battery will drain just a little bit. So can't really win with that. But a hybrid, I mean, it charges itself when it drives, right? Mm -hmm. You could fill mm -hmm. up some gas. You could go far distances. You could do so much more. Yeah, there were a lot of benefits. I mean, there the charging ports are expanding, especially they in the Northwoods. I know to, yeah. Phillips now has an electric charging port. Ooh. I know Minocqua does as well. And uh, I know they're expanding up, I think, to either Bay, I think it's Washburn or Bayfield okay. or somewhere up there or Ashland. Up north. But so so there's they're around, mm -hmm. but that being said, the hybrid was nice because when you did drive, it would charge the battery and then it just kind of, you know, evened out to a really good gas mileage around like 40, 42 miles per oh, gallon. Oh, wow. So that was pretty good. And Ooh. that was, you know, a 2012 vehicle. Yeah. So it was, you know, for a 2012, that, that's quite nice. But again, <laughs> now I've gone back to, you know, a little bit more rugged for the uh, for, for living up here. I, I wasn't living, you know, in the Northwoods when I got that vehicle. Yeah. Uh, you know, that was back when I was in college and had to commute a lot. Now living up in the Northwoods, I got something with a little more lift and, you know, mm -hmm. I can get to all the places I need to get to. Exactly. It's more of a gas vehicle, right? You, yes. you don't have a hybrid. Yeah. Okay. Hi hybrid gotcha. electric. Yeah. If you got to drive a long ways on mm -hmm. paved roads, like that's a reasonable thing. If you're going off onto dirt roads and stuff like <laughs> that, maybe maybe this is not the, the vehicle for no, you. No, no. I, I saw actually a couple Teslas here in the Northwoods. And uh -huh. I was a little surprised when I first moved here. I'm like, interesting, you know, because yeah. winters get bitterly cold here for a it long does. period of time. So I'm like... I don't know how good those batteries are, especially yeah. after a long period of time being out in, you know, 20, 30 below zero. It'll I be know. interesting. I, I'm always interested to see how they do. And But my, my hybrid made it just fine through all the winters, interesting. which is shocking. No problem starting, though. None, which wow. is weird. I know, okay. right? It is very shocking. Let's but, go Hyundai, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, they did okay for a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but we got a lot more coming up today, including a little bit of Homeward Bound from Catkins Animal Rescue. But first, Howard is in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe for bee sting cake.